Hi, I'm Pedro Pascal. I would say my cultural identity is um, a, a very uh, interesting question to try to answer. I was born in Santiago, Chile. My family left when I was nine months old. After a year of political asylum in Denmark, we ended up in the States in San Antonio, Texas. We moved from San Antonio to California. I moved from California to New York. Uh, when I was 18, that became home. Uh, I kept my connection to Chile, so um, I would say that I am a Chilean, Texan, California, New Yorker. I think the way that it shaped me, it sort of turned me into somebody who can be anywhere. <coughs> Invite me over. I'll be, I'll, we'll have a good time. I, typecasting was a really hard thing for me. I think typecasting is the way it goes for everyone. Um, for the people that are starting out and for people that are Oscar winners. It's an interesting symptom of, of an industry. They identify you in a certain way, and those are the roles that will be coming your way. For me, it was interesting because when I was uh, auditioning and, and, and struggling to get a job, um, I looked like a white kid, and uh, my first name was Pedro. And so that didn't really gel with parts on Law & Order or... Play, you know, roles in plays for a lot of people. So I always needed that person to to think beyond this this kind of, uh, I guess, cultural stereotypes and typecasting to give me a shot at something, whether it be a role that is Latino, um, because I am South American, or uh, a guy named Kevin. I would. Uh, my advice to young Hispanic artists would be to, I'm sorry to be such a cliche, but be yourself. Um, and, and make that your complete priority. Do not um, uh, compromise anything that is true to yourself to meet some exterior standard. That doesn't work. Um, the thing that works is, is, is that you be you. And that's the thing that people end up uh, uh, recognizing and falling in love with. And, 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 and wanting, wanting to experience um, your truest uh, self. An instance that I, th yeah, I, I tried to change my name so that I could get more work because people kept on asking me, um, well, where are you from and why is your name Pedro? And um, because you look white. And so I, I changed my name to Alexander Pascal and I even got jobs. And, it, and, and so I had this sort of feeling, and, and I had a feeling for, uh, I think it lasted for a whole year. And I just didn't, I just didn't feel right. And people that meet you for the first time on a job and they ask, and they, they call your first name and they're, they're, they're saying Alex. And I, and I felt, I felt, I, I felt, if you wanna change your name, you change your name. And you don't feel ashamed about that at all. That's not my point. It wasn't right for me. And, um, and, and there was a sense of, there was like a, a kind of um, uh, a shadow of discomfort to that entire year until I just changed it back to Pedro. I have yet to play a Chilean, if that means anything. I think I have yet to play, no, no, I have played a South American. And I think that it's interesting because Latin America is enormous and um, culturally very unique um, when you compare um, each country to another one. Um, Mexico is completely different than Argentina, is completely different from Chile, is completely different from Brazil, is completely different from Colombia, is completely different to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, etc., etc. Food, accent, style, dance, everything. And then there is a common thread that is Latino. Um, that threads it all together where I feel somewhat uh, at home um, uh, no matter where I go in Latin America, even if they think I'm an uptight chileno. Yeah, meaning to say that if I ever do step into a role, if I'm playing a Mexican-American, even though I'm a Chilean-American, um, I think that uh, a Mexican-American, can I cannot do what a Mexican-American can do, but I can connect myself to what is a Latin American immigrant experience or first generation um, uh, uh, American experience from Latin America. Gosh, um, I can't. I, I I can't say that's 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 
That's an interesting question to ask because all of these questions are very, very interesting. Um, and it's hard to answer because our experience as immigrants in the U.S. Um, meant really diving into uh, pop, pop culture in, in a way and, 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 and the influence of television and, and entertainment and also very different um, cultural uh, neighborhoods. So starting out in San Antonio was very Mexican-American influence. My parents were struggling um, and we were babysat by a Vietnamese family um, um, growing up. So I guess the more inclusive um, uh, the representation as far as entertainment was concerned was a reflection of what my experience was. So it didn't necessarily have to be South American. It had to be inclusive, I guess, for it to reflect my experience. Oh my gosh. Oh, so many, so many, so many. I, I think that today's greatest living director is Alfonso Cuaron from Mexico. Um, I have some friends that are wonderful uh, filmmakers from Chile, Pablo Larraín, Sebastián Silva, Pedro Perano, María Liz Rivas. Pedro Almodovar was introduced to me um, uh, uh, when I was uh, very young. It was a family favorite. Um, how do I feel when people recognize me? I feel good when people recognize me. Um, sometimes I feel surprised because um, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of set in my ways. I've lived in New York for a really long time. I go and I look for my coffee every morning, and I don't, uh, I don't, I don't get, I don't, I don't get my, I, I never get myself ready to leave the house very much. And so, sometimes uh, when somebody taps you on the shoulder, says your name, your first name, as if they know you, I, I, I go through a few seconds of, uh, you know, we're, we're, did we go to NYU together? And then, and then, and then they want a selfie, or they want to put their thumbs in my eyes and, and take a picture or something like that. And then I realize, oh, I see. They, 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 they like Oprah or they like Javier Peña from Narcos. I play Javier Peña.